Hello! Magandang araw! Ngayon, pag-usapan naman natin ang ethics in research. Alright! Importante na mai-apply natin ang ating knowledge sa ethics sa pagsagawa natin ng research. Alright! Ang ating mga objectives ngayong araw ay to describe research ethics which serve as a guide in the formulation of an accurate academic paper. Another objective, explain the significance of research ethics in writing. And then we also have, suggest ethical course of action on various life situations. All right. Moving on, magkaroon muna tayo ng pre-test. Alright, please get a paper and a pen at sagutan natin itong ating pre-test. Alright, are you ready? Sige. Directions. Read the questions carefully. Write the letter of the best answer in your notebook. Sige, number one. What term refers to what is right and wrong in conducting research? What term refers to what is right and wrong in conducting research? A. Ethics. B. Research ethics. C. Ethical standards. And D. Ethical consideration. Your answer Number two, what does informed consent mean in research writing? What does informed consent mean in research writing? A, the respondent's identity is not revealed. B, the researcher knows who is being studied. C, the participant knows he or she is being studied and D, the researcher and the participant agree on terms and conditions. Your answer? Number three, how does a researcher observe beneficence in a research? How does a researcher observe beneficence in a research? A, Protect the rights of the participant. B. Keep personal information of participant. C. Count the number of beneficiaries of the study. And D. Conduct a study which benefits the society and make sure it doesn't bring any harm to people. Your answer... Number four, how does a researcher maintain the integrity of the research? How does a researcher maintain the integrity of the research? A, the researcher fabricates and falsifies the data. B, the researcher takes intellectual property of fellow researchers. C, the researcher recognizes the owner of ideas he or she used in the paper. Okay. And D, the researcher reads the thoroughly related literature and puts them on the paper. Your answer? Number five, which of the following can be considered an ethical action? Which of the following can be considered an ethical action? A. Keeping the true purpose of the study to the participants. B. Asking permission to record the interview from the participants. And C. Studying the participants or research subjects without their knowledge. And D. Asking a participant questions that cause him or her extreme embarrassment. Your answer? Yes, sir. All 
Alright. Let's move on to this definition of ethics. I hope you got the pretest very lightly, but then merong knowledge na napulot, merong idea na ay ganito pala. Sige, pag-usapan natin ang ethics. Definition of ethics. Ethics daw is considered to deal with beliefs about what is right or wrong, proper or improper, good or bad. To be ethical is to conform to accepted professional practice. So may mga bawal sa ethics of research. May mga bawal, may mga dapat, may tama, may hindi tama. So, dapat lagi tayong mag-a-agree doon sa mga katanggap-tanggap na mga gawain. So, yung mga pawang dapat lamang ang ating sundin. But, let us be mindful yung mga bawal para maiwasan natin. So, mainam na yung nag-iingat, di ba? Alright. Ethics in research. The following are ethical standards in research. Read and understand each. Okay. Number one. Keep the integrity of the research. Okay. Dapat sisiguraduhin natin na ang bawat data na ating igagather ay accurate, correct, and validated. So, dapat mag-exercise tayo na intellectual honesty. So, napaka-importante na maging honest tayo sa pag-report ng data, sa pagbibigay ng resulta, sa pamamaraan, sa mga procedures, and even kapag na-publish mo na. Alright. And then another thing, dapat isa-site natin lahat ng ating mga sources. Mapadictionary man ito, mapamagazine, mapalibro, or any website. Okay, yung link na pinagkunan natin na true information ng ating mga information na pawang katotohanan lang. Another, dapat hindi tayo magpa-falsify, walang mamemeke. Tapos, Walang magpa-fabricate. So, wala dapat tayong misinterpretation. At saka, wala tayong plagiarism dapat. So, ano ba yung plagiarism? Na sinasabi. So, are you familiar with this plagiarism? Nag-plagiarize itong si author ng ganto na meke ka, nag-plagiarize ka, nang angkin ka, nang hindi iyo. So, it's a big no-no. Next, honor patents, copyrights, and other forms of intellectual property. So, kailangan tayong mag-honor, kailangan nating mag-acknowledge sa kung sino ba talaga ang may-ari nitong information na ito, nitong write-up na ito, na ating nirelayan, na ating ginamit. Okay. Another. Respect the dignity of the research participants. Okay. Mapaparticipant man yan o mapasino man, importante na marunong tayong magrespeto, di ba? Respeto. So, lalo na dito sa gagawin nating research, i-respect natin ang ating mga participants. I-respect natin yung ibang mga researchers. Anonymity. So, i-protect natin ang identity ng ating participants. So, dapat anonymous lahat sila. Confidentiality. Handle gathered data and personal information of participants with, with confidentiality. So, dapat tayo lang ang nakakaalam, tayo, mang, tayo mismo na nagkakondak ng research. At saka yung ating mga participants, yung mga kasali natin sa ating research paper. 
observe proper decorum in the conduct of the study. So, proper decorum. Kailangan ating i-observe. Exercise culture and gender sensitivity. So, importante talaga ang kultura. Mag-respect tayo sa kultura. Baka kasi iba yung nakalakihan niyang kultura. Yung, I mean, yung involved na participant sa ating study. And then another thing, yung gender sensitivity. So, very, ano na talaga to, very importante na maging... Sensitive tayo. Enough sa gender. Alright? Informed consent. So, has full knowledge of the study. So, alam dapat ng iyong mga participants tungkol saan ba yung study mo. Recognize the right to withdraw. So, meron siyang karapatan na umayaw. Ayaw na niyang mag on na maging participant mo. So, accept that. Get consent to record interview or to take pictures and videos. Yes! Marapat lamang naman talaga na magpaalam muna tayo. Hindi yung basta-basta na lang tayo magre-record. Hindi yung basta-basta na lang tayo mag-video, mag-take ng picture. So, paalam muna. So, as what I have said, respeto. Okay, beneficence. It is an action that is done for the benefit of others. So, dapat makaka-benefit hindi lang ikaw as a researcher, pati na rin syempre yung mga taong involved, yung other researchers, yung mga participants, o kung sino man na makakapagbasa ng research paper mo. Importante na may makuha silang benefit na maganda. Maximize benefits of the study to the respondents. Ano ang ikaiinam nito sa kanila? Ang maging participant mo. May benefit ba silang makukuha? So, syempre, siguro makakapag-realize sila ng mga questions in mind nila. Ganon. Assume, assure safety and no harm to the participants. Of course, it is always expected na dapat ang safety ay consider sa lahat ng pagkakataon, sa bawat participants. Strive to promote social good and prevent or mitigate social harm. Alright? So, dapat walang harm na mangyayari sa kung kanino man. Okay. Walang mapapahiya, walang masasaktan. Alright. Justice. Alright. Exercise fairness in the selection process of participants. Kaya nga meron kayong subject na statistics. Diba? Doon nyo malalaman paano kayo pipili ng inyong mga participants. Hindi kasi yan dapat basta-basta lang eh. Pag-iisipan mo, depende doon sa study mo. At saka yung mababagay talaga doon sa study na gagawin mo. Show proper respect and care for animals when using them in research. So, sa science kasi, mortal sin ang magpatay ng hayop. Ganun. So, hanggat maaari, dapat wala kang papatayin na animals. Wala kang iha-harm na animals. Kaya nga, may yung mga experiment minsan, dapat... Like for example, sa pagpe-preserve, dapat yung ipipreserve mo, mga patay na. You will cause no harm dapat sa animals. So, alagaan sila, siguraduhin na hindi masasaktan. So, hindi lang tao ang ating ipuput into safety, pati na rin syempre yung mga animals natin. Alright? Exercise responsibility and obligation to the research community. Okay. So, magsisik tayo ng different perspectives. Tapos, we will continuously seek opportunities for professional development. Maintain and improve professional competence and expertise. So, importante yon mga opportunities sa bawat 
isa sa atin. Okay. So, dapat makatulong ito para tayo mag-improve, para maging mas expert tayo, mas maging competent tayong lahat. Take credit for work actually performed or substantially contributed. Okay, take credit. So, bigyan natin ng tamang pagkilala yung mga taong nagpagod para sa atin. While we are conducting the research. Do not take on a research if personal, financial, legal, or other interest if it might impair your judgment and objectivity as a researcher. So, mahirap, mahirap mag-research dapat i-consider natin yung mga bagay-bagay na dapat hindi tayo maging unfair, ganon. So, dapat pangalagaan natin yung mga bagay-bagay, mga personal matters natin sa buhay. Okay, next. Unethical practices in conducting research. Ano yung mga unethical? Yung mga hindi dapat. ba diba? Number one, deceiving a participant about the true purpose of a study. Okay, wag kang manlin lang. Kung tungkol saan ba talaga yung study mo, yun ang sabihin mo sa participant mo. Well, anyway, makikita din naman nila yan doon sa questionnaire mo, di ba? Alright. Next, asking a participant questions that cause him or her extreme embarrassment. Guilt, emotional turmoil by remaining him or her of an unpleasant experience. Alright, so dapat maging sensitive enough talaga tayong mga researchers sa pagtatanong. Make sure na hindi sila mapapahiya. Tapos, siguraduhin natin na yung experience nila being a participant dun sa research natin ay maging meaningful hindi yung mapait na karanasan ang magiging kapalit ng pagpayag nila as being a participant sa research mo dapat makahelp ito sa kanila to develop and gain knowledge magkaroon sila ng meaningful experience hindi yung masamang experience alright Invading the privacy of a respondent or the participant. So, syempre, may limit lahat. So, kung ano lang yung mga dapat, at saka wag na tayong mag-ano, mag-invade ng privacy nila na masyado. So, limited lang din yung information na dapat ibigay sa atin. Alright. Studying the participants or research subjects without their knowledge. Alright. So, respeto. Dapat magpaalam talaga muna. Alam nila na magkukondak ng research tungkol sa kanila, yung sa opinion nila, sa idea nila, mahalagang magpaalam. Alright, when analyzing the data, revealing only part of the facts, presenting facts out of context, falsifying findings, or offering misleading presentations such as lying with statistics. So, hindi ka naman talaga dapat mag sa statistics. Alright? Bawal magsinungaling. Bawal mag-mislead. Bawal mag-doktor. Okay. Huwag mong doktorin yung totoong result. Kung ano yung tunay na resulta, yun lang ang ilatag mo. Okay. Now, I hope learn some, something doon sa mga dapat at hindi dapat gawin. Let's have an activity. Alright. After what you have learned on research ethics, you are now ready to do the following tasks. Write your answers in your notebook. Number one. As a researcher, how will you observe ethics in your research? Okay. How? Paano nga ba? Paano mo i-observe yung mga dapat, yung mga tama, yung mga hindi tama? List down the things that you would possibly do when you do your research. What to do if I conduct research? So, start your sentence with this phrase. What to do if I conduct research? Alright, ano nga ba? 
Number two, what would you do in this situation? Okay, given this kind of situation, ano ang mainam na gawin? You're traveling in a third world country. In a village, you're suddenly surrounded by poor-looking children holding out their hands. They pull your shirt and move their small hands to their mouth, indicating they're asking money to buy food. The ethical question, would you give money or presents to child beggars? Why or why not? Okay, let's consider the ethical issues here. Okay, marami kang consideration na dapat bigyang pansin dito. Okay, reread, you're traveling in a third world country. In a village, you're suddenly surrounded by poor looking children holding out their hands. They pull your shirt and move their small hands to their mouth, indicating they're asking money to buy food. The ethical question, would you give money or presents to child beggars? Why or why not? Alright. Sige. Pag-isipan ng pagkainam. Mag-research muna bago sagutan. Okay. Number three. Analyze the situation carefully and answer the questions that follow. A researcher wanted to determine the possible effects of favilavir, an antiviral drug, to COVID patients. An experimental procedure was conducted to carry out the problem. Instead of using human beings as subjects, the researcher used rabbits. The researcher injected the drug orally into 10 rabbits. After the treatment, conditions of the rabbit was observed. Analyze the situation carefully and answer the questions that follow. A researcher wanted to determine the possible effects of favilavir, an antiviral drug to COVID patients. An experimental procedure was conducted to carry out the problem. Instead of using human beings as subjects, the researcher used rabbits. The researcher injected the drug orally into 10 rabbits. After the treatment, condition of the rabbits was observed. Okay. Guide questions. What ethical considerations should be observed in the research? What ethical considerations should be observed in the research? Okay. Number two question. Did the researcher commit any violations in the conduct of the study? Did the researcher commit any violations in the conduct of the study? Explain your answer. Number three. If you were the researcher, would you do the same? Why or why not? Alright. Moving on. Let's have post-test this time. Okay. Directions. Read the statements carefully. Write the letter of the best answer in your notebook. Are you ready? So you have your pen and your paper with you now? So, let's start. Number one. This term means the standards which identify what is acceptable and unacceptable in conducting research. This term means the standards which identify what is acceptable and unacceptable in conducting research. A. Norms B. Standards C. Research Ethics and D. Ethical Considerations Your answer 
Alright. Number two. What does anonymity mean in research writing? What does anonymity mean in research writing? A. The participant's identity is not revealed. B. The participants know who you are, who are being studied. The participants know who are being studied. And C. The participants are fully aware that they are being studied. D. The participants do not allow the researcher to take photos and videos. Your answer, number three. How does a researcher observe justice in a research? How does a researcher observe justice in a research? A. The researcher conducts a study which benefits the society. B. The researcher protects personal information of participants. C. The researcher observes unbiased selection process of participants. And D. The researcher gets the approval of the participants before proceeding to the study. Your answer? Number four. Which of these demonstrate integrity of the research? Which of these demonstrate integrity of the research? A. The researcher uses correct and accurate information. B. The researcher writes to the owner of ideas he or she used in the paper. And C. The researcher reads thoroughly related literature and puts them on the paper. And D. The researcher submits the intellectual property of fellow researchers. Your answer? Okay. Number five. Which of the following can be considered an ethical action? Which of the following can be considered an ethical action? A. Informing the participants on the true purpose of the study. B. Asking permission to record the interview from the participant. And C. Studying the participants or research subjects with their knowledge. And D. Asking a participant questions that cause him or her extreme embarrassment. Your answer? Okay. That's all. So, I hope you learned something today. That's all. God bless. Thank you. Bye.